All right, one more question. And this was the most poorly answered question in GCSEs, full stop. And if you want, I would love for you guys to challenge one of your teachers at school to do this and see if they can do it. Because um, it is a difficult question. And it's this interesting vectors question. It says OAB is a triangle. OPM, so follow it, OPM and APM are straight lines. M is the midpoint of AB. O to A is A. O to B is B. O, the ratio of O to P, P to M is 2 to 3. Work out the ratio O to N, N to B. Okay, so they want us to work out what this ratio is, say X to Y. So there's a few ways we can do this. I'm going to show you the easiest way I think will help you guys understand. Now, O to N, we want to work out this ratio, right? So O to N is some fraction of the full line, yeah? So O to N is some fraction of the full line. Yeah, I'm going to say it's X. It's X lots of the vector B, where X could be a third, it could be, I don't know, a quarter, I don't know. O to N, I don't know exactly what fraction this is of the full line. I've just called it X. Yeah, but it is horizontal. We all know that O to B is definitely horizontal. It's our job to find out what X is. Now, how are we going to do that? We need to work out what the vector O to N is, yeah, using a different pathway. So to go from O to N, I'm going to go O to A and then A to N. So I'm going to go up and then down. O to A and then down to A N. So that's A plus. Now here is where it becomes, this is the point where 99% of students had no idea what to do. Yeah. Look at the full line of A to N. A to N is an extension of A to P. Yeah. A to N, yeah, this full length, which I've highlighted, this here, A to N, is an extension of A to P. So if we find A to P and we make it longer, we get A to N. Now, what can we use for that extension? Because we don't actually know how much bigger A to N is compared to A to P. So let's just use K. We usually use K, right? So A to N is K lots of the vector A to P. So we're going to work out what A to P is. Yeah? So it's our goal to work out A to P. So remember, K is the extension. So we're going to work out the blue highlight, and when we extend it by some number K, it's going to take us to N. Now, for us to go from A to P, guys, we need to first go back on ourselves. Yeah, we're going to go A to O. And then we're going to go to P. We're going to go from O to P. Now, A to O, we're going back on ourselves. So it's minus A, two thirds of O to M. Good. O to M. So it's two fifths, it's two parts out of five of O to M. So, we need to work out what O to M is. You can see there's so many like submissions here in order to find this overall um, vector. So now to go from O to M, guys, they right, two thirds. Uh, sorry, yeah, thank you. It's two fifths, isn't it? Now O to M, how do we go from O to M? To go from O to M, let's go up A, and then we're going to go A to M. Now remember, M is halfway. A to M is half of A to B. So guys, to go from A, we have to go down back to O, yeah, which is minus A. Then we're going straight across to B, so plus B. As usual, A to B is B minus A. Let's expand that in. Now when we simplify that, A minus half A, yes, that's 1A 
minus half a is half a. Then we have plus half b. Now remember, we're doing that to find out what this is. We're going to sub in there to find a to p. Therefore, a to p is minus a plus two fifths of o to m, which is a half a plus half b, which then simplifies to, if we expand, this simplify it. So a to p then is minus a plus two tenths a. You could even say, guys, that two tenths is one fifth, right? Let's simplify it. So a to p then is minus, divide top and bottom by two, four fifths a plus one fifth b. Now, guys, we're still not finished because now we had to sub it back into this. We had three side quests. So now we can say what O to N is. O to N then is A plus K lots of minus four fifths A plus one fifth B. Now let's expand it. And now we collect the like terms. So this and this. We factorize out A. So O to N is open up a bracket, write A. Then we write the coefficients. So writing the coefficients, the coefficient of a here is one. Then we have minus four fifths k. Then we have plus one fifth kb. So here's o to n. But I said at the beginning that o to n should be in this form. So guys, look at this. What is in that that should not be there because of the form of O n. O n is horizontal. O n is horizontal. Meaning, why is there an A term? Why is this here? Yeah? Well, we need to fix it so that it does not exist. Meaning, the coefficient of A has to be zero. Meaning, one minus four fifths k has to equal zero. So move that over. Then we rearrange times both sides by five, divide both sides by four. So k is five over four. But we're still not done. We need to find the ratio. Do not forget, we still need to find the ratio. So what is O to N then? Well, we've just made this equal to zero. It's one fifth k, one fifth k we worked out to be 5 over 4 b well the fives cancel we get one quarter of b so guys look at the diagram i have just proved that o n this vector here is one quarter b so what's the ratio of o n n b what must the ratio be if o to n is one quarter of the whole line what must the ratio be? The ratio has to be one, two, three. Yeah, if this side is one quarter and that side is three quarters. You times both sides by four, you get one to three. Wow. Now this here is objectively, it's not even subjectively. There's no argument about it. This is the hardest GCSE question they have ever, ever asked. Yeah, full stop.